Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. 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 Put a peanut in your hand. Put a peanut in your hand. And shove it up your nose. And shove it up your nose. So that little piece of insanity is a song called Brown Squirrel. Uh, I learned that from my niece. We were out having a campfire, just our family. Uh, this is the kind of thing that my family does together. And my niece, who uh, is a camp counselor, she came out with a whole bunch of songs. I love that one, of course. Uh, we were dying of laughter right from the start. And uh, what's great about it is, you know, it starts out, you think it's a little kid's song. And then you've got the shoving things up your nose. Plus, they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's, it's uh, ridiculous. I do the campfire. I think that's fun. And then uh, you can put it back out with a bucket of water, uh, however you want to do it. It's a call and repeat song. So the leader does the brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. And then everybody calls back with their own brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. They learn it immediately. Uh, that initial worry of participating, because this is a song about squirrels, is gotten over very quickly with the shoving it up your nose. What we've also found is uh, as a performing song, it's great because pretty much boys and girls of any age can sort this one out very quickly and they can get really creative as well. So they can find all sorts of things to shove up their noses and to teach to the other uh, rest of the kids. I like to only do about five or six things you can go really insane. You can go for 10, 20. You can have the entire Milky Way galaxy shoved up your nose if you want. Uh, when I'm teaching kids how to uh, deliver a song like this, I usually try to caution them. You know, you don't want to go too long. It can get a little uh, overdone as a joke. Also, uh, the thing that works best with a cadence is, of course, a two-syllable word like an acorn, a peanut, an apple. Now, as you get sillier, you can, of course, draw it out, like the entire Titanic ship with the iceberg up in your nose, you know, this sort of thing. Uh, and uh, so when you're teaching it, the enthusiasm is important. You need to get the little silly dance and wiggle your tush uh, is also important. And I think the whole goal of this one is just to have fun with it. Uh, once people know about it, they're still happy to see it come. And they're still happy to see, okay, everybody, let's do Brown Squirrel. Uh, usually gets a pretty good reaction. So enjoy Brown Squirrel. I want to thank my niece again for showing that one to me. Uh, that's already a favorite around here. Brown Squirrel, Brown Squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Put an apple in your hand and shove it up your nose. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Put the campfire in your hand and shove it up your nose. Ooh. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Put a bucket of water in your hand and shove it up your nose. Oh, that's better. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Put a school bus in your hand and shove it up your nose.